This is McFly Angler. starts now. To start, we will need a scud hook like these Risen 9251s, and today I'm tying in a size 16. We will also need a silver bead, and today I'm using a size 2.4 millimeter. The easiest way to put the bead on the hook is to place the bead in your hand and bring the hook point to it. Okay, place the hook and bead securely in your vise. For thread, I really like this Vivas 10 knot in hot red. Start the thread right behind the bead and then snip or snap off the waist. Then bring the thread down deep into the bend of the hook. For a tail, we will be using a natural colored pheasant tail. Stroke out half a dozen or so fibers to align the tips and then break or trim off the stem. Tie in a small tail, about half a hook shank length, then tie up to the bead for an even body. Then simply break the fibers off with some thread tension. For the body, we will use a large size pearl tinsel. You don't need a large piece. In fact, this size will tie about three to four of these flies. Tie this in directly on top of the hook so it doesn't extend out past the bead. Then tie down to the start of the tail with even wraps. Start making wraps up the hook shank. To get the ribbing effect, try to wrap so the tinsel covers half of the previous wrap. This will also make the fly more durable. When you reach the bead, capture the tinsel so it's on top of the fly, and then wrap back down to about the one-third mark on the hook shank, or in this case, about the hook point mark. Make sure the tinsel stays directly on top. Now we need some rainbow scud dub. Select a small amount here, we really don't need too much. Then create an even and tight noodle on your thread. This should not be a very thick noodle, keep it fairly thin. Then proceed to wrap a collar of sorts on the fly to build a thorax. You want this thorax to be round and even. And with your thread right behind the bead. It helps to twist the bead to keep it from getting stuck in a weird position. Now pull the flash up and over the thorax to create a flashy wing case. Capture it so it's even on top. Make a couple tight wraps and then pull the tinsel rearward and make a few wraps in front. Now cut it off as close as you can. Make a few more wraps to clean up that section and cover any flash or dubbing that is sticking forward. Now you want a fairly pronounced hot spot on this fly, so make sure you wrap enough to see the thread. When you're happy with the hot spot, then whip finish your fly. Brush the dubbing down with your fingers and then trim any extra long fibers. To cement this fly, I like this Solarez Ultra Thin Resin. Paint a little on top of the wing case and get some along the whip finish. When you cure it with your light, it will shine the wing case up a bit more and secure the fly for multiple fish strikes. And there we have it, the Rainbow Warrior. This is a great attractor pattern in waters where the fish like smaller flies. It's flashy and will get the fish's attention. If you have fished this before, let me know how it worked for you in the comment section. Or if you haven't heard of it, let me know what you all think. The creator of this pattern is Lance Egan, and I'll tell you, I think he makes a great pattern here along with some other wonderful patterns he has designed. As you all know, I have gotten you all discounts from both www.risenfly.com and www.dooliesflyfishing.com. Dooleys offers great prices on all of the name brand fly tying materials, and Risen Fly manufactures their own hooks, rods, reels, and other gear for fly fishing. Their products are top quality, and best of all, they are priced very reasonably. Not only are the prices at these two shops great, but like I said, they are offering all of my subscribers a discount. So use McFly at checkout when ordering from either of these shops, and you will get an additional 15% off of their already great prices. I want to also thank all of my Patreons who support me. For as little as a dollar a month, you can help support this channel, and also get some great perks like early access to my videos, participate in live streams, and more. So go to www.patreon.com forward slash to sign up today. 
I also thank all of you who share all my videos with your friends and your continued support by hitting the like buttons and subscribing. Thank you for making these videos possible. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.